Good morning, guys, and welcome to another of my episodes for one of my boring shows here on YouTube. So today I'm going to be showing you how I administer a Noxaparin right here. So Noxaparin is a generic version of Lovinox, so I'm not sure if I pronounce them right, but you guys get it. Disclaimer. This is not medical advice, no life advice, no legal advice, no financial advice whatsoever. This video has just been made for entertainment purposes only. Again, entertainment purposes only. These are the tips and tricks that I follow and decided to publish here so that... Um, my channel can have um my channel can feel more resourceful and can have more videos that you know people can go back and look at and you know see other people's experiences and all that stuff another disclaimer if you're scared of seeing belly fat injections or bruises do not watch skip and just pick another from my channel <laughs> all right here we go so first what i do is that i wash my hands of course and so i also apply lidocaine on the spot that i will be putting my injection at so i usually like to do it in this area because it has most of the fat on some people like to do it on their love handles but i feel like this is the area where I have most of the fat at and it's where I would feel it less. So this is some of the bruises from, these are actually very minimal. Um, I have seen, you know, and I'm actually very surprised and thankful that um, they're actually very minimal, but some people develop bigger. Mind you, this video right here could have been recorded anytime in the history of my life okay there's a lot of videos that i have still in storage that i plan on releasing in the future and this is one of them storage released in the future continuing guys wait a minute okay now we can continue so when i put them on i make sure they're far away from every um, bruise to make sure that there is no additional bleeding of course it's simple i make sure that i use the fattest section to reduce the risk of um, the knots simple and that's in my opinion so i have to do two injections today so that means i have to use two ice packs so i gotta juggle around here a little bit anyways if you're learning how to do intramuscular injections click on the link below in my description you're gonna find full-on instructions on how to do it because i know this is a little bit more complicated but it's very useful so before icing the side you're gonna be peeling this off it's a little bit hard for me to do sometimes because my nails are not long so yeah that's gonna take a while and sometimes it's a little bit annoying okay i think i finally got it so see you're gonna go like this don't be pushing this down okay and then oh, from all the videos that I saw, they'll be like, oh, so you got to snap it out. Just, you know, but the snapping is pretty tough. So you got to make sure you do it pretty hard. Make sure your whole, you know, I usually make sure that my hands are very firm so that it doesn't go anywhere because when it snaps, it snaps. So I'm not going to be doing this now because I have to ice my um, injection side first. We're just going to leave this on the side. So that it's ready to go. I already had drawn a circle on it. I'm going to be peeling my band-aid off. This is the one for my 
love and hugs and this is the one for my intramuscular so i'm gonna be putting the ice on it and the ice here and i'm gonna be holding both for exactly 10 minutes see you later okay so it's time to take the ice bags out let me go ahead and move this a little bit more there we go so i'm gonna go ahead and clean with an alcohol pad my injection site and like i said before you're gonna go ahead and snap the cap out that's what i do me switching my hands because the right hand is stronger okay i'm gonna back up a little because i know some people like to catch reactions um okay so i'm gonna go ahead and just pinch the skin like this right dart and then some people say that you have to inject it in a slow kind of motion but it doesn't work like that with me because for some reason as soon as i push this in it just starts like coming out so quick but i'm gonna try to do it as slow as i can um i also use the eyes to prevent um feeling anything like any little burning sometimes i feel burning sometimes i don't so it has gone pretty slow this time okay make sure that all the liquid is in don't push it too hard because if you push it too hard the um secure little thingy pops out and you can get hurt so once you're done we'll give her like five seconds five four three two one five four three two one and then i pull it out like this and now i begin the method where you make sure that the cap the automatic cap comes on so that nobody gets hurt for easy storage and then disposal you go like this see that's why you can't push it too hard when um okay anyway you guys now i have to i want to tell you um very important something that i do i'm right now i'm massaging my intramuscular one because i gotta put the heat pad on but this one has nothing to do with all that um after i put this one on um i have to i make sure i don't mess with it i don't do anything else i don't rub it i don't put a heat pad on it to avoid any kind of you know if there's going to be a bruise you don't want it to like spread even more you don't want anything like that to happen you really don't want to mess with it um so i gotta get going now i gotta get the heat pad on for my intramuscular so um i want to thank you so much for watching me and if you enjoyed this video um press the like make sure that um you subscribe also so you can see other videos that i pop that i you know that will pop every once in a while and um i mean when it comes to things like this um this video is also going to be part of a, a mystery playlist um, I will be putting the the link to that here. Uh, the Mystery Place is going to have a different title in the future. I think I'm going to be doing that n next year. Next year. So, yes, guys, I'm sorry. But, yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching. And, again, please remember this is just for entertainment demonstration purposes. This is no medical advice you know um and i really appreciate you hanging out here with me today